Hello, and welcome to another video from me. How you doing out there? Welcome to another video. Welcome to the channel. Now, we all love the vibe. We all love the vibe. It's beautiful. And content creators out there who are doing VR videos are starting to use... So squeaking. Starting to use, you know, in-game chat now and things like that by flipping the pad over. And I'll probably do another one as I get a few more subscribers. It's the point 20, sadly any point live streaming but anyway our trusty friend the vive here as we all know has a tiny mic on the bottom there and the audio is not the best you can use the old dead cat as we call it in the industry it's like a little wind jammer that goes over the mic but the quality of the audio is really not that amazing so today in this video i'm going to be showing you how hopefully because i'm recording this before i've actually put it together again I'm going to show you how we can use a certain mic and how we can improve the audio on the Vive and I will be doing a before and after and I'll also be changing a couple of the settings on this mic to see if we can get better quality when recording in VR and if it works, it works, if it doesn't then I've wasted my money I'll also be giving you links and prices to the piece of kit that I'm going to be using so let's waffle, let's get in pin your lug oils back and let's see if we can improve the audio on the Vive Let's go. So, first on our list is an XM26 microphone dash headphone adapter, which is 3.5 millimeter to USB. Now, this is PC, Mac, Linux, and USB 2 friendly. And there's not a huge amount to actually tell you about this. What this is going to do is we're going to use an extension cable that plugs into the front of the HMD or the headset. That then comes out with the extension cable, the official Vive USB cable, and that will plug into this, and our microphone will plug into that. Simple, you might say. Well, yes, it is. What's next? Well, next up, we've got the official HTC USB adapter. Now, you could use any old adapter. Bloody hell, what's this thing made of? Titanium. The, you can use probably any of these, but this one has got like the flat head on it in, in order for you to... God damn it! What the hell? Just rip this bastard open. Fucking... No, excuse me, I apologise. Be gone! And you. Yes, you could probably use any USB cable, but this one, because it's got a flat head at the top, means it fits under the front cover of the Vive perfectly. Be gone! And as you can see, there's not a lot to show you here. It is a USB male to female. Let's have it. Job done. What's next? Well, Betty, I'll tell you. Next up, we have the Mod Mic 5 from Antillian Audio. And what do we get in the box? Well, what's this thing here? Well, let's get this all neat and tidy. Come on now. The viewers want to see this all neat and tidy. We get this. This is basically hosing that you can go around cables. It splits at the end. It's a cable tidy, basically. And it's nice that they've actually included this. I probably won't be using that in this first little build. Be gone. But this is the piece de la resistance. Yes, let's unzip her slowly. Da -da -da -da. Sod that. I'm feeling randy. Get her out. Right. Looks like we get lots of goodies here in the box. So what do we actually get, Demon? Will you show us? Well, we get two sets of these. Basically, these are extendable. Oh, well, it's a jack. It's an audio jack, basically. And we get two sets. Should you want to extend it for any reason? I don't know why you would want to. We all like a little bit of extra length. Yeah, I hear you. And here, we've basically got little cable tidy snaps. Here, you can use this if you want to. This version actually comes with a mute button. Some of the other versions, you can get them a little bit cheaper, don't come with this. So you can probably get that one if you don't want it. But the cheaper ones don't come with the two different versions of the microphone that's built in. And if I can look on the box right now, I can tell you, I think it was Omni. Uh, what was it? Can't remember. I'll tell you as we get further in. But basically, there are two versions on here. And as you can see, there are two settings there on the front of the mic. And this little thing here sticks directly on the side of the Vive. And it is magnetic, so you can take the mic off really, really quite simply. But I think it's time, I think it's time, lads and ladies out there, to show you how to attach this to the HTC Vive. Let's go. 
Somebody get me a vibe quick, I'm losing my subscribers here. Bored senseless they are. Oh, oh. I hope you're still with me. But anyway, here we go. We're going to flip off the front of... The, do you know the amount of times I almost broke that before? Not really as in like a dumbass. All you have to do is push it forward. Now, if I lift up the piss flaps here, you can see under there, possibly in there, there is a spare USB port. Thank you, HTC Vive, for thinking of the future. You see... A lot of people didn't know that was in there. Well, I'm telling you now, it is in there. And we're going to stuff this right in there. And I'll tell you what, it can be a little bit fiddly until you get it in the right place. And then when you slam it in, she's happy. So all the women tell me, let me just get this in a better position. And they say that to me and all. I wish. I've been single too long. It's because you're doing YouTube videos. You should be out looking for women on Tinder. Anyway, so let's just get that. As you can see, look at that. Bang. Fits in perfectly there, all neat and tidy. And of course, we can put this through that front loop there. That's the existing one that attaches to the headphones. So don't unplug that. I saw somebody in another video do this and they unplugged that thinking it was a microphone, you dumbass. Well, it's not. You must leave them all in. Right. So this cable, we're going to just literally, the USB HTC official cable, we're going to slide that through here. And then we're going to put this back on. Now, this is bloody fiddly. This is more fiddly than trying to get a woman's bra off with one hand while you're pissed. You know what I'm saying, lads? Let's just see if we can get this back. Can we get a knickers on before a mum and dad come back? Let's have a look. There we go. Get them on, love. He, he looks a little bit flustered. There we go. Nobody would ever know. Back on. Right. So now this cable here, we can either loop that around the same as the other one and see if we can squeeze it into that little attachment or we can literally just hang it around the back there. Uh, we can get some cable ties or anything you want really. Those Velcro holders are going to be just as good to hold it. These are the little Velcro holders that they were given when we bought this thing and I think these are going to be a little bit too tiny. Possibly, I don't think they're going to fit because the main HTC cable is made out of three rather than one. But otherwise, that would have been perfect. But let's just loop that round there like that. And we'll come up with a solution, I think, a little bit later. Yeah, we're not really going to be able to squeeze that under there. Can we squeeze that in there? Possibly. With a little bit of jiggery-pokery, that may actually fit in there. And of course, that comes round the back, which is where we're going to attach the next piece. Again, these are not really going to be thick enough. Nah, they're not. Right, next, we've got this little beauty. Basically, it's a stereo jack USB, so we're going to plug that if I can get the right way in. That goes into there, and now obviously our microphone will attach directly to this. That will go down the cables, the main cables, back to your PC, and you'll be able to select this as a microphone. Now, again, you maybe have to have a little bit of jiggery-pokery, a little bit of cable tidy to get that to fit at the back. And on this side, what we're going to do is, you can see it's already getting powered up by the headset, so we know that's working. Now, this one, we're going to stick this directly on the side of the Vive there, right on the logo, and then we can bend this into position so what we'll do is we'll detach this. It's just a simple magnet and it holds really strongly. And we're going to stick this on the side with the 3M. And don't worry about the magnet in here. It doesn't affect the vibe whatsoever because the polarity is outside, not inside. So let's just get this 3M off here, this little sticker. There we go. Got clean fingers. I've wiped the vibe already. Doesn't matter really what position we put that on. I'm just going to stick that on there. Give that a squeeze. Squeeze it, demon. Squeeze it hard. There we go. So that's going to there. Give it a little while just to tack up a little bit. And then your mic will literally just snap straight to that. And here's a little tip if you decide to get one of these. As we take this mic. There, it will snap straight on. Bush. And running around, jumping around, it will not come off. But here's a little tip. When you take this cable, the jack cable, thread it through the existing audio cable if you're using the deluxe, deluxe headset. It will keep that cable in place. It means you've got a little bit less cable management to be dealing with. There we go. 
she's through. So let's just pull that through and then all we need to do from this audio cable, or should I say the microphone jack now, is we need to plug that directly into the stereo connector. There we go. I hope this video really does help people because I noticed a few people doing it wrong saying, yeah, it don't work, it don't work. Well, that's because you're setting it up wrong. You shouldn't be unplugging anything in the front of the headset. So leave everything like that. And of course, now it's a matter of either attaching this with some cable ties or some of that Velcro stuff. And that basically is us up and running. So on screen, you can see I actually use some cable ties for now just to tie it up. And I continue to use the cable one at the back. And I'm probably going to cable tie this jack lead on the side as well. Dumbass, they, they can't see it. Oh, you freaking idiot. Anyway, that's how we do it. Let's get on to the sound test and see what this mofo sounds like. And was it bloody worth it? Well, I'm going to show you now. Let's have a listen. Here we have the default audio, which is on the Vive right now. So Peter picked a perfect pussy. A pussy was ever so perfect. One, two, three, one, two, three. As you can see, this is the built-in microphone that comes directly from the Vive. And the mic here, as you can see, just so you know the audio is not coming from this and it clips on so easy like that and there are a couple of settings on here we're now going to look at and see if we can improve the audio on the HTC Vive let's go so here we are with the new microphone that's on now and there are two settings on this microphone one of them is more of a let me just pull that a little bit away one of them basically you imagine a beach ball around your head it will try and pick up audio that's in there and try and noise cancel everything that's on the outside so that's the first one so peter picked a perfect pussy he slammed his pepper into that tight pink peach <laughs> cheeky so let's click on to them i'm not actually sure which is which now without taking the headset off but that's the first setting and that is the second setting so you may notice a little bit of difference between those two so peter picked a perfect pickle pepper pickle pepper did he pick pickle lily peter picked a pickle pick a perfect pussy wah i can't think of anything else to say but that is the other setting and i quickly put it back onto the other one there you go and i've got the sound levels on this microphone in windows at around 70 percent so it can go a little bit more if i want to but of course we can boost that in post so i hope that's been of some interest to you this microphone all the details are going to be down in that box below including the prices and links and please subscribe thumbs up and help a very small fish in a big pond if you can say that now <laughs> help me get going i've only got a few subscribers but i do love virtual reality and i really want to stick this one out to the end i wish i hadn't given up para players vr all those years ago but there was just nothing happening whatsoever and all overnight natey just exploded but there you go so this is the new mic I shall see you in another video. Thanks for the support and the subscribers so far. I've been... Thank you. Bye-bye.